hey girl hey um I just did that for old times if you've watched me before when I sold LuLaRoe you know that I used to love saying hey girl hey if you're watching this part then you're watching the replay um obviously that's not what we're doing anymore right uh, today I just kind of wanted to take you guys along with me just for a brief moment and talk about courage <laughs> so i don't know if anybody else uh out there woo, is like me and maybe there's something that you are absolutely terrified to do maybe not maybe it's just me maybe i'm the only one who sucks at having courage uh, so I had to look up courage because in my daytime job, I talked about courage and I feel like we get so distracted on what courage is. Courage is fighting wars and whatever. And no, courage is doing all those things that we're just afraid to do. For me, posting videos again is something that I'm afraid to do, which is interesting because I did it for a long time but now here I am afraid to do it so what do you do how do you build courage oh 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 I looked it up real quick so because I am extra so courage is the mental or more or moral strength to venture persevere and withstand danger fear or difficulty okay really um the choice or willingness so you have to do something so here I am oh 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 and let's back up also so one of the things in my day job I shared is that you get courage by couraging so here I am couraging posting this video while I start to paint the sign that I have no idea what I'm gonna use it for but it was super cute so I think I'm gonna stain this part and then um, just paint these parts. I am not an artist in that sense. Like I don't do the painting thing, it's not my thing. But I do other creative stuff. So I don't actually say it's not my thing. I'm not very good at it and so I shy away from it. Are you like me? where you shy, oh, where you, sh excuse me, shy away from something because you're not good at it. Yeah, because who likes to fail? I don't know. I know I don't. Failure sucks. Failure makes, oh, well, that was stupid. Guess I need to do a little bit more shaking. Failure on something makes you feel, no, no, no. let me back this up. Failure on something makes me feel that I am a failure. And in reality, that's not it. I just failed at that particular thing. I struggle with it. <laughs> I struggle with trying to figure out a balance between failing and succeeding and what does failing actually look like. Um, I mean, a great example of failing is this paint color that I don't like that I mix these two colors together because again, I don't paint often, so I don't really have a lot of paints. Um, I have these paints because in the COVID world, I wanted to try paint pouring. Now, I did two or three paint pouring things Oh, yeah, I should find them and show them because they're not great um, <coughs> to me. So I did a couple paint pouring things and I learned from my mistakes. And now I either continue to paint pour, which I haven't, or I try something else. And then sometimes you think you failed at something, but in reality, it actually worked out. Because if I'm being real honest with you, this color that I'm, I've mixed together, I like it. <laughs> so 
this is just something that I am learning to try to do is just to do it afraid. Is there something that you need to do, but you're too afraid to do it? Are you the naysayers telling you, oh, you're not going to succeed because X, Y, and Z, because you're too young, because you're too old, because you're too fat, you're skinny, you're, you're black, you're white, you're yellow, whatever the reason may be, this is too big. And so you shy away from it because of fear, because I know I do. I shy away from a lot of things because of fear. Paint, painting is definitely one of those things for me. Painting and posting videos because I have felt all my life that I have been called to share my story. But who wants to hear my story? Who wants to whatever, 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 whatever excuse it may be. I don't like my voice. I don't like my whatever. We all have these things about ourselves that we get so caught up on, caught up in, that we don't actually ever end up doing what God has called us to do because we don't just put our faith in him. But as I learned, as I was reminded today, because I knew this, but as I was reminded today, faith without works is dead. So being afraid of something, but still doing it anyway, is how you combat the fear, how you gain the courage to keep going, to keep posting, to to keep working out, to keep trying whatever it is that you feel like you were supposed to do. Maybe you fail and you fail miserably because I've definitely done that. Um, <laughs> you take your lessons. I, I don't really know who else needs to hear this, but it just keeps coming up in my mind because I know that I am really struggling with it is just because I failed, I'm not a failure. So maybe I'm just supposed to say this again to everyone. Just because you failed doesn't mean you're a failure. It just means that that didn't succeed at that time. And sometimes just because it didn't succeed then doesn't mean it's not going to succeed a little bit farther down the road. So. Today, my challenge to you is to go out and, and courage. You gain courage by couraging. So whatever it is that you need to do, that you're afraid to do, let's just do it. Let's just take this year, this 2023 year, and start being more intentional about the things that we want out of our lives. We can't get what we want if we are not willing to put in the work. Putting in the work is hard. Putting in the work is hard. But the reward will definitely be worth it. So I am going to continue to paint this project and I will figure out what my end result will be and I'll make sure to post it along later on once I am done. So you can see how it turned out. So far, my green leaves are coming along. So yeah, who knows what project we'll be doing uh, as I progress because my goal is to come here to share a little bit about me and about my story and to craft because Crafting for me is, it's my self-care, it's my coping skill. It's how I get back to centering myself. And so along with that, I fail a lot in this craft game here. But then I also succeed a lot. And of course, I don't have any of my finished products near me to show yeah, I do succeed. Oh, but I do. Hold on one second. Okay. 
One of my friends suggested that I do, whoop, one of my friends suggested that I make um, a tray. Uh, he sent me this, um, this video and I was like, you know what, fine, I'll try it, whatever. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. This was my first attempt and it's amazing. So I have done multiples since then to the point where I have actually made a couple of tables. Um, my One of my friends gave me her shells from Destin and South Carolina and I made her a table. Now, lucky for me, I currently oh, have a table. I currently have a table so you can this is only the top of it um, and then there are obviously there are legs that go on this table but this is me reaching outside of my comfort zone and trying something new and succeeding so you never know what might happen if you don't try so okay Here's to many more crafting videos and crazy hot messness with me. And um, yeah, I'm really excited. One thing I would like to share with you um, that I used to say all the time when I would go live as well, and it is something that I ended up tattooing on myself as a reminder, and yes, I should know it and yada, 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 but tattoos are my way of expressing myself. And I want everyone to remember this because I struggle with this personally, and we'll get into more of that stuff later on, but you are beautiful, you are amazing, and you are enough just the way you are. Have a good day.